guys i am dr arshad nadim awan with my youtube channel uh, um, i'm sure that you people are doing great you are enjoying your life uh, you are enjoying practicing ultrasounds as well and also watching my videos uh, today my topic of discussion is fatty liver fatty liver is a uh, acquired and uh, reversible disorder of metabolism and it's caused by accumulation of uh, triglyceride in the liver hepatocytes it's mean that it can be corrected by changing lifestyle and modification in uh, our diet the most common cause is obesity but there are certain other factors responsible for fatty liver including uh, excessive intake of alcohol uh, diabetes mellitus during pregnancy certain toxins intake of corticosteroids multiple factors are there causing fatty liver but today uh, our focus would be how it will appear on the ultrasound images how we will write the report so let's start watching these images and find out how the uh, fatty liver will appear on the images comparison is shown on this slide on the right side appearance of normal liver is shown while on the left side fatty liver is visible you can appreciate mark difference of echogenicity normal liver is hypoechoic on the right side while fatty liver is bright and echogenic in the fatty liver this echogenicity is homogeneous and this brightness is evenly distributed throughout the liver so margins are quite clear margins are regular there is no irregularity of the margin so you can comparatively see the difference between the normal liver and the fatty liver on this image on the basis of ultrasound images uh, fatty liver can be divided into three categories uh, grade 1 grade 2 or grade 3 category or you can use the word as mild moderate or severe whatever you want to or you prefer many of the clinician they uh, write on their reports as a grading system grade 1 grade 2 or grade 3 and some of the clinician they prefer to write as a mild moderate or severe degree as far as images on the ultrasounds are concerned you have to uh, mention uh, how uh, you have to look how it will appear on the images so for the images in grade 1 degree uh, fatty liver you will see the liver will appear echogenic but intravasculature uh, of the liver would be visible you would be able to differentiate between the hepatic vein and the portal vein portal vein wall appear echogenic so that's why it is it is easily distinguishable from the uh, hepatic vein so if it is uh, visible so it's mean that the liver is fatty liver if uh, provided that you have to compare it with the uh, kidney as well the kidney will appear hypoechoic and the liver will appear hyperechoic but beside this you will be able to appreciate intra uh, hepatic vasculature like uh, portal vein and hepatic vein and you can easily differentiate between the portal vein and the hepatic vein as far as a grade 2 or moderate degree fatty liver is concerned uh, liver will appear echogenic uh, but uh, you uh, will not be easily distinguish between the hepatic vein and the portal vein some of the time it will be confusing because the portal vein will no longer be visible on the ultrasound images in grade 2 fatty liver so that's why uh, this would be considered as grade 2 when uh, you you are struggling to find out whether this is portal vein wall or this is hepatic vein wall so uh, it's mean that this is grade 2 fatty liver or you can call it as a moderate degree fatty liver while in uh, grade 3 fatty liver or severe fatty liver the liver will appear echogenic and there will be no longer distinguish uh, possible between the hepatic vein and the portal vein so it will all appear as a hepatic vein uh, portal vein wall will not be easily visible uh, at all it will not be visible at all so this would be considered as a grade 3 fatty liver or severe fatty liver so now come uh, to uh, watch these images how it will appear and how we will differentiate between grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3 and how we will write uh, the report for all these three categories of fatty liver on this image comparison of liver is given with renal cortex echogenicity for fatty changes you can appreciate that on the right side liver echogenicity is equal to the echogenicity of renal cortex and there is no fatty infiltration while on the left slide Uh, you can appreciate liver echogenicity liver echogenicity is increase than the renal cortex in grade 1 fatty liver the liver will appear echogenic as you can see on this slide and intrahepatic vascular marking would be visible 
you would be able to appreciate portal veins and its ecogenic wall and also hepatic veins in grade 1 fatty liver. This image shows grade 2 fatty changes. In grade 2 fatty liver, the liver would appear bright and ecogenic but you would rarely appreciate ecogenic wall of portal veins. Portal veins wall ecogenicity would not be clearly visible in grade 2 fatty infiltration. On this image you can see the ecogenic liver but portal vein ecogenicity is not clearly visible. Grade 3 fatty liver would be defined as bright ecogenic liver. Look at this image and uh, look at comparison with renal cortex. There is marked difference of ecogenicity between renal cortex and liver. Renal cortex is hypoechoic while liver is bright ecogenic. Liver appears uh, bright ecogenic and no differentiation between portal veins and hepatic veins is visible on this image. Uh, this is grade 3 fatty liver infiltration slide. Mention on the report that liver is normal in size. Quite often it appears normal, in few cases it appears enlarged. If it is enlarged, mention that it is enlarged in size. While if it is normal, so mention liver is normal in size and shape and it shows mild degree increased reflectivity of its parenchyma due to fatty deposition. If it is moderate, so mention moderate degree increased reflectivity or if it is severe, so mention moderate to severe increased reflectivity. In the conclusion, mention it is grade 1, 2 or 3 fatty liver infiltration. Uh, the term, another term which is used for the fatty infiltration is hepatic steatosis. Uh, if you want to use the hepatic steatosis, it's all okay. So mention that hepatic steatosis grade 1 or hepatic steatosis grade 2 or hepatic steatosis grade 3. While discussing about the fatty liver, it's worth mentioning that uh, we should talk about focal fatty sparing area and focal fatty liver infiltration. What happens in uh, focal fatty uh, sparing area? Uh, liver appears ecogenic but a small part and small portion of focal area will appear hypoechoic. Uh, this uh, usually you will appreciate around the gallbladder or superior to the CBD or around the capsular region. So that's why you have to scan the entire liver properly uh, when liver is fatty. So if you come across with any of a focal fatty sparing area you mentioned on your report. But how we will differentiate uh, this focal fatty sparing area from the tumor is that uh, tumor will always occupy and uh, occupy the liver vasculature. It will distort the liver vasculature or it will obscure the liver vasculature but so far focal fatty sparing areas are concerned you will see uh, this all along the vascular margins and uh, a vessel will not be disturbed, a vessel will not be obscured, it will not be distorted. So this is the point which you can distinguish between the tumor and the focal fatty sparing area. The another entity is uh, focal fatty infiltration. This up occurs uh, in the normal liver. When the liver is okay, there is no problem, but a small focal area will appear ecogenic. It means that this is the area where the triglycerides are accumulated. So again, you will find this uh, around the gallbladder, superior to the CBD or along the capsular margins of the liver. And again, a rule of thumb for differentiating the focal fatty infiltration or focal fatty sparing area from the tumor is that tumor will obscure the vasculature while focal fatty sparing area and focal fatty infiltration will not obscure the uh, liver marking. How it will appear on the images, how we will appreciate on the images how we will write the images, uh, how we will write it on the report. So let's start uh, watching these images and find out how it will appear on the images. Look at this image, it's fatty liver but a well-defined hypoequic area above the CBD is visible. It looked like a hypoequic tumor but in actual it's fatty sparing area, focal fatty sparing area. Usually it is seen around the gallbladder proximity and it should not be confused with mass. This is another slide. Uh, this liver is fatty liver and you can see a well defined hypoequic area in the right lobe. This is another example of focal fatty sparing area. In this another image you can see liver is fatty and there is a focal hypoequic area 
in the proximity of gallbladder so this is focal fatty sparing area in the fatty liver so you should not confuse this focal fatty sparing area with the mass on the report mentioned that liver is normal in size and shape its parenchyma shows increased reflectivity due to fatty infiltration a focal hypoechoic area measurement whatever the measurement is give the measurement seen in the right lobe or left lobe or in the proximity of gallbladder or superior to cbd whatever the location is mention the location and in the conclusion mention fatty liver infiltration with focal fatty sparing area Further radiological imaging may be considered to rule out any mass lesion because it is important to differentiate whether it is really mass or it is focal fatty sparing area. On this image you can see a liver is normal with normal ecogenicity but a well defined ecogenic lesion with irregular margins is seen in the right lobe. This is the example of focal fatty infiltration. Along with this ecogenic lesion few small focal lesions are also seen these are all focal fatty liver infiltrations this is the another example here you can see a focal fatty liver infiltration between the left and middle hepatic vein so liver parenchyma is entirely normal there is no fatty infiltration but this focal area appears ecogenic uh, which is actually focal fatty infiltration and look at to the contour contour of the lesion is slightly irregular so this is focal fatty liver infiltration and this is uh, the third slide here you can also see an ecogenic lesion in the proximity of gallbladder liver is okay liver is normal it's not fatty so this is another example of focal fatty infiltration while writing the ultrasound report mentioned liver is normal in size and shape and its parenchyma appears normal and normal reflectivity a focal hyperechoic area give the measurement seen in the right lobe or left lobe or wherever the location is mentioned that and in the conclusion mentioned that normal size liver with focal fatty infiltration area further radiological imaging may be considered to rule out any mass lesion because this ecogenic uh, area usually mimic with hemangioma or sometime uh, ecogenic metastasis so therefore further imaging are required to confirm whether it is a uh, focal fatty infiltration or some other mass lesion Yes guys this was all about the fatty liver uh, in this videos we have observed how uh, we will appreciate fatty liver how will uh, distinguish between the grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3 fatty liver how will uh, understand about the focal fatty liver infiltration and focal fatty sparing area beside this we have also discussed at length how we will write the effective report so keep watching my videos subscribe my channel and I will upload uh, some other videos regarding liver masses, malignant masses, benign masses and liver cirrhosis as well. Uh, don't forget to give me your feedback. Uh, we'll see and we'll meet in the next video. Till then, enjoy your life. Bye-bye.